Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again with the love of my life. How are you doing? I'm good. We just had Taco Bell. Take my two. belly's full. Yeah. I'm tired. I could actually go for a nap if I'm being completely I could probably, honest. I could go for a nap as well. It's like a very nice day here in Florida. There is Beautiful. pretty much a lot of overcast going on outside. We don't get any rain. I don't know it's why we cold. haven't had rain in days considering this is Florida. It's not a little concerning. Humid. It's a little concerning. It just, is. Just to be honest. None to be forecasted either. Right. But obviously that is not what we are here to talk about. I have to start this video off by giving some bad news to people out there because we all woke up this morning and we all saw that Jennifer Lopez is now canceling her world tour. <laughs> and she is claiming that she just wants to spend time at home with her friends, family. She didn't say nothing about Ben. Well, she said family. She didn't say my husband. One, girl. She did not say my husband. And you know, there has been rumors going around that their relationship is actually coming to an end. I personally, and I've told you guys this in another video, I did not think that this relationship was real. I thought that they just saw like a cash grab real quick because she had the this is me like album back the in the day and now this one it. is like the, this is me now she brought ben back into it he looked miserable in my opinion the whole entire relationship <laughs> he hated his life he girl. really did <laughs> i hope that he got like a good paycheck out of it ever since like the rumors Maybe. have been going around that they are like heading for splitsville they've been trying to like be seen out in public together mm -hmm. but just because you're seen out in public together doesn't mean you look happy together so if you had tickets to the j-lo show the tens of you will be getting your money back that clip we were talking about this before mm. we sat down to film and i was like yeah did you see that stadium where it's like empty he was like now girl no, don't do her like I that i had to defend jennifer lopez <laughs> because there is a video clip going around from like 2018 2019 something where it's she was doing stadium. it was an empty stadium and there was just maybe like 50 people around the stage <laughs> but apparently it was like a dress rehearsal and she invited I like bet. some of her biggest fans to come and watch i hope that's what it was because there was no one there that has to be such like an ego it, blow for her because girl, jennifer lopez thinks very very highly of herself girl, that clip where she's outside of that man's house and she's mm -hmm. like i used to live here yeah. i'm jennifer lopez and he's like jennifer who, who? hi Hello. i used to live here huh? i used to live here huh Hi. My name is Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, I used to go up, and I, my room was upstairs right there. Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. Who's Jennifer Lopez? Me. And he was older, so you would think that he would know who Jennifer Lopez yeah. was because she played Selena. I feel he's like lived her life. Like I feel like everybody's probably mm -hmm. heard her name at least one time. You know what I mean? And do you think Jennifer Lopez would be Jennifer Lopez if it wasn't for that Selena role? Probably not. No, I don't think so. But I, I, you know what? I'm not going to say I always hated Jennifer mm -hmm. Lopez because I used to argue with Love my cousin. Love don't cost a thing is a fucking bop. Yeah, no, that is because mm -hmm. I used to argue with my cousin about that because uh, Genie in a Bottle came out oh, around the Christina. same time. And I used to say that J-Lo's song was better than Genie mm -hmm. in a Bottle. Shanti, thanks you. The next thing that I want to talk about is actually something that I'm kind of like bummed about because I was actually looking forward to watching this. And that is the Jake Paul and Mike Tyson fight has been postponed. Mike Tyson the other day was on a why. flight and it had some kind of like medical emergency. He cannot work out or train for this fight. So Jake Paul actually uploaded a video and like sent his condolences to him and said like he still really respects him an and asshole. he wants to fight him in the future. But right now he can't get in the ring and he can't like kill the man, you know, that mm -hmm. would be like. That'd be bad. Yeah. Obviously, devastating news. I'm heartbroken, speechless, like gutted. We've been working so hard over here, everyone in this camp. And I just feel bad for everyone involved in this event. The whole undercard, this is opportunity has been ripped from all of us. But I do uh, value Mike's health first and foremost. Love that guy. I have so much respect for him. And um, I want Mike to be healthy. And he says he still is going to knock me out and I bought myself some time. So Mike is still talking shit over there. Uh, but Mike, if you want to do this, like you said, behind closed doors, behind the scenes, you've said you want to do this in Q4. You just need a little bit of time. So I'm ready whenever you are. This is too big of an opportunity. I think this fight's going to change the world. And I turn all my L's into W's. That's a motto I live by. And the universe makes no mistakes. So let's see what's in store. But sorry, this didn't work out to everyone. The fans love you guys. But I was going to tune into that because a lot of people think that Mike Tyson was going to whoop Jake Paul's ass. I think he would have probably think? ate his ass. Though. I think he's going to yeah. bite his ear. Yeah, but did you hmm. like see all that back and forth between them? Yes. Mike Tyson said some very Maybe questionable things. it was never going to happen in the first place. I don't know. Mike Tyson said some very questionable things. People can say a lot of things about the Paul brothers and think that they're assholes and like douchebags, like rightfully so, the things that they've been involved in online. I have to say both of them have like really made something of themselves. And it was they completely, made a lot of money. completely a shock because if you remember like jake paul back from like the vine days like the goofy so kid cringe. like you would never have expected him to be like where he is today so no. i mean 
There you go. Their father is a little fucking weird though. So the next person that I want to talk about is Jacqueline Hill. And we have not talked about Jacqueline Hill in a good long while on minute. this channel. It has been a hot minute. She looks like she's doing really well out there in California. I'm, I really do want to see the new house tour because I personally, a lot of people thought that Jacqueline Hill's taste in Florida was like really gaudy. I liked it. I and loved it. I don't know if that's because I'm from Florida. I'm a gaudy person. I don't Nick know. Has very gaudy. I taste really and, like, loved it. it the dining room was like Beetlejuice. I was obsessed. Well, Jacqueline Hill is getting talked about right now because over on a video that she did on TikTok, because she's very big over there these days, she was asked, why does she not promote Morphe anymore? <laughs> and basically, before I read you guys the comment, she let everyone know that she doesn't talk about it anymore because she thinks their products are complete shit. She thinks they've really gone downhill over like the past few months, past few years, whatever. They're not paying her anymore. Mm. That's what now, it is. Now, a lot of people are wondering, is this because Jacqueline Hill was not paid back that money that Morphe owed her? Remember when the bankruptcy was <laughs> going digs. on? The little digs, you know, she was owed it was a few million i believe it was no it wasn't it like 900 000, close to a million yeah it was like nine she was owed 000. a shit ton of fucking money okay? it was a lot is what jacqueline hill was owed well she commented back to this person that asked her about morphe i don't know why my phone scrolled up and she said i just think their products have gone downhill if they launch bomb products the way they used to i would love to support they need a major rebrand slash comeback moment now this were they ever uphill, bit, Jacqueline? This is a little bit of a slap in the face to Meredith Duxbury because, you know, Meredith Duxbury just came out with that new collection with Morphe and people were actually very excited about oh, it. Oh, yeah. Meredith Duxbury is always talking about that palette they came out with. Is there a little bit of jealousy there? That Meredith Bitterness. Duxbury. I'm still surprised <laughs> that Michaela, who will never turn down a check at all, did not take any kind of deal with Morphe. Well, you know, she was talking about that mm -hmm. a couple of months ago. She said she never had the deal. And then, like, she mm -hmm. was kind of, like, trying to extend that olive branch. There's probably one oh, coming. Oh, my There's God. There's probably one in the works, I would girl. so be there for it, Jacqueline shading Michaela. Because, you know, Michaela is the new Supreme. And mm -hmm. Michaela has literally stepped all over Jacqueline and all these other beauty influencers yeah. and got herself up to the top. The started top. out, No, literally started out as a hater of Jacqueline Hill and these other influencers. And now is... <laughs> I'm such a fan. <laughs> well, somebody responded to her and said, Linda won't like reading that. And I Jacqueline responded won't. and said, I can promise you, she's fine. Oh, I'm I can sure promise she you is. that she's fine as well because didn't Linda like sell Morphe for like a good amount of money? A whole bunch of so money I'm pretty girl, sure that yeah. Linda is just like sitting back, just rolling in those millions of dollars in her big house. Mm -hmm. You know? I posed the question a minute ago mm -hmm. and I need the answer to it. Like, was Morphe ever truly uphill for their products to go downhill or was People it just the check stop? No, I, I think don't it's know. the check stop. I don't know. I think it's a little bit of both because there were people that loved the setting spray from Morphe. They mm -hmm. loved when Jeffrey did the collaboration with them. It smelled like strawberries, the same strawberry scent that was in Manny's palette for Lunar Beauty. So I think that they did have some products that people thought were like a holy grail, but I, I don't, I couldn't tell you a product people were excited about other than the Meredith Duxbury thing over the past few years, well, to be girl, completely honest. Even Jacqueline Cosmetics was Morphe at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah. Jacqueline wouldn't tell you that. She said she was buying into a family-owned business. Yeah, forma, I mean. a forma-owned business. <laughs> so with all that said, everyone, that is it for this video. I know it is another short one. These influencers are still on their best behavior. They are. I know. It's not hot enough outside. I actually, yet. we're making this a shorter video because I really want to go back inside and play the Killer Clowns game. Because yeah, so fun. We pre-ordered it, so we get to play like a few days like before it like is like released to the public so if you have the killer clowns game and want to play with us let us know or if you want to watch us stream it yeah. because we've been talking about streaming it we got green screens and everything We're ready but we can't go. figure out the collab cam over on stream lab so we can both be like on the same stream we've been trying really we've hard. been trying there's like for a literally while. no instructions there's that... no instructions if you find a video of someone talking about how to do it it doesn't work for us we seem to be the only people that can't figure We're this unique. thing out i'll scroll over like on twitch or even on tiktok and people will be gaming together and i'm like what the f yeah, we can't figure it out mm. to save our lives. And if you made it this far in the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are not subscribed, and leave us a taco emoji down below because that Taco Bell was it really was good. It was good. Those... It was really good. What you are, know? What are they? Aardvark? Aardvark oh fries. Oh my god, they were or, so They good. have like chicken on them. It was really good. Taco Bell is great. I know it's, it's so flat. bad for you. Yeah. I don't care. It's worth it. It is. It's so worth I it. I still have a grilled cheese burrito over here that I'm going to be eating later. I'm going to have it with you. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be delicious. It is. Bye.